Hoopla Kids. Hi, I'm Kent, Kent the Elephant. How are you today? Guess what? It's my favourite time of the day. Yay, it's story time. I've been sitting in my library checking out these really cool storybooks. And today I'm going to read you this one. It's called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Woohoo! Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. There was a baby billy goat gruff, a middle billy goat gruff, and a big billy goat gruff. They liked to chew the grass happily on the hillside in the summertime. But one day, they looked around and realised that they'd eaten all the grass. Oh no, said the little billy goat gruff. What shall we do? We've eaten all the grass. And the big billy goat gruff said, Not to worry, look over there across the river. If we go across that bridge, we will get even more lovely green grass to eat. <laughs> and the middle billy goat gruff said, Great idea, let's go across the bridge. But little did they know that under the bridge lived a smelly, ugly troll. He was stinky, all right. He had a blue tongue, big yellow teeth, a red spotty nose, and he was green with warts all over his hairy body. Ew! The little billy goat gruff said, I'll go first. I'm really hungry and want to get to that lovely green grass. So the little billy goat gruff started trotting across the bridge. His hooves went clippity-clop, clippity-clop on the rickety-rackety wooden planks. Suddenly, the smelly ugly troll jumped up onto the bridge. Who's that clip-clopping across my bridge? And the little billy goat gruff said, It's me, little billy goat gruff. I'm trying to get to the other side so I can eat the grass. And the big smelly ugly troll said, Well, I'm hungry too. And do you know what my favourite thing to eat is? It's Billy Goat! Ha <laughs> And the little Billy Goat gruff thought really quickly and said, No, don't eat me. I'm only small. But if you wait a little while, my older brother will come. He's much bigger than me and will make a far tastier meal. So the ugly, smelly troll thought for a while. OK, I shall let you cross my bridge. And the little billy goat gruff went clippity-clop, clippity-clop, all the way to the other side. Next, it was the middle billy goat gruff's turn to cross the bridge. So off he went, clippity-clop, clippity-clop, trip, clippity-clop, across the rickety-rackety wooden planks. And suddenly the big smelly green troll jumped onto the wooden planks and stopped him in his tracks. Who's that clippity-clopping across my bridge? And the middle billy goat gruff said, Why, it's me, the middle billy goat gruff. And the big smelly ugly troll said, I'm going to eat you for my tea. And the middle billy goat gruff, he was smart like his younger brother and said, No, don't eat me. If you wait a little while, you will see my big brother. He's the biggest of us all. He's huge. He'll make the best meal ever. And the smelly ugly troll said, OK, I'll wait. You can cross my bridge. So off went the middle billy goat gruff, clippity-clop, clippity-clop, over to his little brother and started eating the fresh green grass on the other side. Now came along the big billy goat gruff, clippity-clop, 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 across the rickety-rackety wooden plank. And the troll, sure enough, he heard the noise, jumped up onto the bridge and said, Who's that clippity-clopping across my bridge? 
And the big billy goat gruff said, It's me, the big billy goat gruff. And the troll said, I'm going to eat you right now. <laughs> and the big billy goat gruff said, Oh, no, you're not. He was strong and not afraid of the big ugly green troll. And he started swiping his hooves backwards and put his horns down. And he charged. And bam! He knocked the smelly ugly troll right off the bridge. He flew high into the air and he kept going over the mountains. And where he ended up, nobody knows. But that troll was never seen again. And the big billy goat gruff went clippity-clop, clippity-clop across the rickety-rackety wooden planks and joined his brothers on the other side. And they all had the best meal of juicy green grass that they had ever had. And remember, the grass always looks greener on the other side. So always be grateful for what you have and don't be greedy and just eat enough so that you're not hungry anymore. Hi, how are you today? I'm Kent, Kent the Elephant. Woohoo! And guess what? It's my favourite time of the day. Yes, that's right. It's story time! I've got this really great book. Look, it's about a mouse and a bull. I love these characters. The mouse is just so tiny and the bull is so huge. Do you think they could be friends? I wonder what's going to happen. Let's open it and see. I can't wait. The bull and the mouse. Once upon a time, there was a mouse called Lulo. He lived inside a little hole in a big brick wall. It was his safe place, his home. One morning, he stood by the hole and stretched out his arms with a big yawn. The sun was shining. It was a beautiful day. He decided to go outside and explore. He came across a sleeping bull. It was massive and he saw what big nostrils the bull had in his nose. He just thought it would be really fun to climb inside and then out the other side. So he did. But suddenly, the bull woke up. He was so angry because his nose had hurt when Lulo had climbed in and out of it. So the bull started to swipe back his hooves and charge towards Lulo, who quickly ran back into the hole in the brick wall. When the bull saw the wall, he skidded to a halt. Brave Lulo said, I'm sorry, Mr. Bull. I was just having fun. I didn't mean to upset you. But the bull was angry and he said, How dare you climb into my nose, little mouse. I'll show you. And in a flash, he charged towards the brick wall and bashed his head again and again. Bang! 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 Little Lulo stood quivering and quaking inside his home, waiting for the brick wall to crumble. A little voice inside his head said, Don't worry, Lulo. You've done the right thing by saying sorry to the bull and you won't come to any harm. And sure enough, the brick wall didn't crumble. In fact, the bull got tired and stopped charging. Lulo, finding some more courage, came out of his hole and said, Oh, mighty bull, just because you are big and strong, it does not mean you should use your might to hurt people. I said sorry for what I did. Now stop banging your head against this wall and go and rest. The bull, having learned his lesson, nodded his head, turned and tiredly walked away. Wow, that was a great story. What did you learn from that? I learned that size isn't everything and you should always be kind to people. Sometimes others make mistakes or hurt you unintentionally and if they say sorry, don't you think it would be good to forgive them? And if you're bigger than them, it doesn't mean that you should be a bully, does it? Because might is not always right. Well, I've really enjoyed this story time with you today. If you'd like any new stories, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more cool Kent the Elephant videos and stories. Bye for now.